guys, my name is Clay Ratterman. My name is Taylor Ahmed. And we're going to tell you guys today our interesting story of how we actually met each other. sport and then I ended up going to the Ohio State University where I ended up walking onto the team there. When I first started pole vaulting I had no idea what I was doing, I had no idea what the sport was. I basically picked up a pole and just put it in the ground and flung myself over a bar <laughs> and then I ended up going to the University of Wisconsin-Madison to pole vault. She's a really good pole vaulter guys, um, three-time Big Ten champion in the pole vault, uh, super impressive. Um, Basically, we met on a TV show called American Ninja Warrior. I was at Ohio State. I hadn't walked onto the football team quite yet. And my brother, who was graduating from Ohio State as well, he was two years older than me. And he's been into Ninja Warrior stuff, into ninja training for his entire life. Basically, big universities were going to get chosen as right. well. Me and my brother realized. We were like, okay, well... It'd be cool to have a brother team on the show. It'd be a good fit for it because we could really play on the whole fact mm -hmm. that we've been watching Ninja Warriors since we were like right. five years old. And so I spent the whole summer that that summer uh, working at a company called Rogue Fitness, which is actually really convenient for me because I got to train inside their gyms all the time. It's basically a fitness company. And so I got to tra train inside their gyms. And I was training for football to walk on at the time. We ended up flying out to LA on the night of my tryout for football when I was trying to walk on, which was really weird because I had to, I had to go from the tryout, which was at 8 PM at night, which is a weird time to a straight red eye flight to LA. And I was already tired. I was super beat up. And then I had to go compete the next three days on this Ninja Warrior thing. So I just finished nationals my sophomore year and I placed fourth at big times that year and I made it to nationals. Um, and then I get, I get a Facebook post the day after I competed, or a Facebook message, asked me if I want to be on him and his friend Zach's team on this Team Ninja Warrior College Madness thing. And I was like, yeah, sure. sure. Why? <laughs> like, I had no idea what it's about. I had no idea the obstacle. I didn't know anything. Like, I've heard Amer of American Ninja Warrior, but mm -hmm. I, like, I didn't know what to expect or anything. But I talked to my teammates about it. They're like, just do it, whatever. So mm -hmm. I said yes, and then I made a couple of videos while I was out in Eugene, Oregon, um, basically for the submission video. Right, um, and which I was put, a lot of work by the yeah, way, guys. Yeah, so we each had to put a video together, each teammate, and then you made them together, and then you did yeah, you a bunch of little video clips. A ton and, of video submissions, basically, is how you get on the show, Yeah. which we'll do a video later on how to get onto a reality TV show, because yeah. we've done several auditions for them at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we ended up flying out at the end of August yeah, then. Yeah, end of August. And we were there for, everyone was there for different times because they mm -hmm. flew you out at different times, yeah. like depending on which team you were and which day your filming was set for. And yeah, I was there for like two days, maybe a day and a half. Like we yeah. flew there and the second we got to the hotel, I had to do like testing and they did physicals mm -hmm. and like. Tons of stuff that they make you yeah, do. Yeah, all this testing and stuff and then like B-roll and all this video footage and interview stuff. I think we were the final day of filming or something like that, but we had to wake up really early. I think we competed at like five or six in the morning, which is yeah, weird. it was super and it was freezing. It was really cold. In LA. Yeah, which was weird too. And Very then, cold. Uh, I think we met during snack. Yeah, like just sometime. Like all the college teams basically like there's a room where you can go up and watch people competing from. Yeah. And then like get food and stuff we like had, that. Yeah, like you know, I had like two minutes to eat. Right. I remember like we went right. up to get food and I was about to grab something and they're like, Team Wisconsin, like you're up, you're up, like you have mm -hmm. to be down here. And like I didn't even have a chance to like eat or drink water like yeah. the whole day and it was like. Yeah, it was, it was so super much. nerve wracking too because I remember like waking the up the morning of oh. and like I knew that I was gonna be the first race to go because we were like slotted to go first. It was like Ohio State versus Michigan, and. I was the first leg of the race, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna be first. Right when you're on the platform and you're about to start running the course, there's like, they, like a countdown. Yeah, there's like a big, big countdown. Ding. And like all the cameras are like attached to these strings above and they fly toward you and it's like, doot, 
do do and then it like it just drops down and you just start running like your heart just, just drops yeah, you, you totally just stop go, thinking and you start you running go. it's like if anyone's ever been to cedar point when you ride the top throw dragster and it's like beep 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 and it takes off She's scared of yeah. roller coasters, so she yeah, doesn't I don't know what do I'm talking coasters. about. Yeah, so we ended up just like talking sort of during the break times, I guess. And yeah, like everyone was just like, you know, meeting each other, different teams. He won't know the results until the episode airs. My friends keep asking me, they're like, you can tell me, I won't tell anyone, but I'm I just I can't tell anyone and it's it's building up. I wish I could tell people. So her team ended up winning the show. Um, pretty much flew out like the next, the next morning. The next something. that either I think no, it was that, that evening. It was that that evening. evening. Yeah, so I did all the same these evening runs, that we competed, made it we to the final out. round, like just dead tired, and then we had to leave that night. We couldn't even go to the hotel. Yeah, and just, we couldn't like, even rest. hang out. Like everyone so, wanted to go out and stuff, and we literally yeah. didn't have time to do that. So we went back to the hotel, and we're all parting ways. Mm -hmm. um, and then Clay came up to me and asked for my number to add me to the group me. He's already added to the groomy, but it was a slick move, he wanted guys. to make sure I was in there. <laughs> I was just, no, I was like, yeah, like, there's a big groomy with all, with all the ninjas in it. And mm -hmm. I was like, do you want to be in it? And yeah. then she's like, yeah, of course. And I was like. And it's actually really funny looking back, because after my team won, we did, like, a little award ceremony type of thing. And guys, like, picked us up. Like, other teams picked Team Wisconsin up when we were holding the trophy. Mm -hmm. And Clay was the one that picked me up. Calculated. So, <laughs> I, have, I have a picture of that. No, but... Like picking me up. Yeah, we didn't really talk a whole bunch. I, I got her number, obviously, to put her in the group me, which I don't even know if I did or not. I really don't remember. <laughs> but then we ended up flying out that night, and there was a, like, shooting at the airport, or maybe a false shooting or something. Mm -hmm. Basically, when me and my friends walked in the airport... There was like a mob of literally every single person from the airport terminal sprinting at us full speed and yelling that there was a shooter. So then we turned around and sprinted out and we got trampled, lost our bags. The flights were delayed for like five hours. And then I went and found my family and stuff. And like all the people from Ninja were like texting and making sure everyone was okay. I think we talked a little bit then briefly. Yeah, but you then, texted me asking if I was okay. But then like overall, we stopped talking and then she was coming to Ohio for... Yeah, for Indoor Big Tens last year, this yeah. year. Yeah, so last year she Oh, had... yeah, last year, and I said, I asked him if he wanted to come watch me, and he had football practice or something. Yeah, I was, in, time. I was in football um, time. But then I was in Ohio again this past season, this year, and I told him, I have Big Tens, if you want to yeah, come Yeah, so watch. me and my friend went down... It wasn't too far away from where we lived, and then we went out with her and some of her track friends, and then so we've been together ever since then. How <laughs> you share our story of kind of how we met and like how interesting it was to meet someone, like she lives in Wisconsin, I'm from Ohio. We met in LA on a TV show. And right now he's in. He's and in now Wisconsin. I'm in Wisconsin again. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's how we met, guys, and. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. We wanted to give you guys the, the weird story of how we met. And um, please subscribe, hit the like button, comment share it. Comment with questions that you guys have. Yeah, comment, ask us any questions you guys have. We're glad to answer, help you guys out with anything. So um, until next time. Yeah. <laughs> Are you camera shy? <laughs> 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 <laughs>